The next time you visit historic Yates Mill County Park, be sure to check out the American Elm that provides much valued shade in the mill yard. In the early 1900s, the streets of many towns in the United States were lined by this tree, which can grow to heights of a hundred feet or more, and whose spreading canopies overhead provided what one author calls a vast green tunnel of dappled shade. In fact, in the 1800s and early 1900s, many American towns and cities planted this graceful tree along their streets to enhance their town's beauty and to provide cooling shade. By 1937, more than 25 million elm trees could be found in cities, towns, and suburbs across the country. In addition to shading and enhancing city streets, American elms were found in forests in the central and eastern United States and northward into Canada. These trees provided food for wildlife with such animals as squirrels, opossums, eastern chipmunks, mice, and migratory birds feasting on elm seeds. A variety of cavity nesting birds, such as the pileated woodpecker, also created nests in the trees. But in 1930, the accidental introduction of Dutch elm disease devastated the population of American elms. The fungus apparently arrived in a shipment of logs from Europe, and it quickly spread from Cleveland, Ohio, where it first appeared in America throughout the elm tree's range. The fungus was spread by bark beetles and by the tree roots themselves, with each tree contaminating its neighbor along closely lined city streets. By 1932, the fungus was killing trees from Ohio to New Jersey, and by 1970, it is estimated that the disease had killed tens of millions of trees destroying the majority of American elms in the country. Scientists, horticulturalists, the U.S. Forest Service, the Nature Conservancy, and other groups have been working to save the American elm through such efforts as cloning surviving trees that have been resistant to the fungus and crossbreeding them. They have also experimented with creating hybrid trees by breeding American elms with Asian and European elms. Plant nurseries are selling some of these new cultivars, and efforts are continuing to create enough genetic diversity of these trees that they can survive new, evolving strains of Dutch elm disease and can flourish in the wild. Maybe someday city streets will again be lined with American elms. In the meanwhile, you can always enjoy the shade of our American elm tree here at Historic Yates Mill. Mm -hmm.